Cacio e pepe is one of the Italy's most beloved dishes, but get that perfect creamy sauce is challenging and can easily go wrong. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a researcher in the physics and astronomy department at the University of Padova, and I also struggled a lot with this recipe. And I'm Davide, and I'm also a researcher here at the physics and astronomy department of Padova University. Together with Daniel and other six Italian researchers from the Max Planck Institute of Complex Systems in Dresden, the ISTA uh, Institute in Vienna and the University of Barcelona, we investigated the science behind this simple yet difficult dish. And yes, there is an actual preprint paper about it. We all met in Germany a while ago while working at the Max Planck Institute for Physics of Complex Systems in Dresden. And while some of us are passionate about food and cooking, it became a point of pride of preparing our most beloved Italian dishes in a perfect way. One of the, the places we started a lot with uh, was cacio e pepe. And we actually failed several times in trying to prepare this dish. And that's why we decided to investigate the role of all these ingredients to create a perfect sauce. During the weekends, we performed a series of experiments systematically changing the ingredients in the recipe. The objective was that of collecting enough data to create a perfect and creamy sauce that is also stable on eating. We studied this dish and specifically the cheese water sauce by using the framework of liquid-liquid phase separation. And in particular, we try to understand the role of all the ingredients in having an homogeneous phase or a phase separated phase between the proteins in the cheese and the water in the pasta water. So this is actually the region we want to avoid, which is the region in which the clumps are present. And this is the region we want to be here, since here we have a perfect sauce. Starch contained in pasta water is a stabilizer of this sauce. Indeed, uh, as with temperature as high as 65 degrees, whey protein starts denaturating and they start aggregating with each other and with calcium micelles. This aggregation creates clumps in our sauce and eventually we are doomed to the mozzarella phase, we don't have enough starch. Let's dive in in our scientifically grounded recipe of cacio e pepe. Just dissolve the right quantity of powdered starch in water, which is between 2 and 3% in cheese mass. Heat everything up until it becomes clear and thick. Now blend this starchy water with the cheese at low temperatures so that the gelatinized starch binds with proteins, hence preventing the clump formation. While mixing, use some extra water if needed to adjust consistency and have a silky cream. Then grind the pepper, toast the pepper. We take out the pasta just one minute before the time written on the box so that it can finish its cooking time in, on, in, in the pan directly. Wait 30 seconds to avoid thermal shocks and then add the sauce. Now we can heat up the pasta without caring about clump formation. Add some pasta water again to adjust consistency while eating and then add the grounded pepper and serve. This is our scientifically grounded recipe for a perfect cacio e pepe. Enjoy! <laughs>